Welcome back everybody to the spirit mod. No, we're not in a new well, we are in a new world, but no, we're not creating in a new world. We're here to explore something that was in the spirit mod for a very short time and it was removed due to a lot of bugs being caused from it. So we're gonna be exploring the little mini biome that was in a little update. I mean, I think you can still download the update. It's just like not people were having a good bit of problems with it. just like a plethora of bugs and this biome is called the reach what am i doing uh this biome is called the reach and we're gonna go check it out i've generated a world here and i explored it as a tabu kitu because he's super fast compared to obviously casper here not the fastest but also not the slowest thanks to our scooter but here we go here's some uh generation i don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like but this is what I was able to find. So there's these little things here. Little like little like staffs with skulls on them. They don't drop anything when you break them. Is something cursed? Oh, the pickaxe is cursed. Aha. Uh -huh. Look at that. Reach guards. So these guys spawn in. What just happened? Why did that tree just break? <laughs> that tree should have broke. But peep. Look at these guys. Ancient bark. Hold up. Let me get rid of some stuff here. I'm going to use a harpoon gun. Um, I can use these spike bombs. So, they drop ancient bark, and then there's something else they drop. It's like some leaves or something. Le yeah, enchanted leaves. So, you can make this stuff. Now, in the current version, all this stuff is removed, I'm pretty sure. Even the weapons. I don't know why there's a bunch of spikes down here. They're just straight up. There's just straight up spikes down there. Uh, more spikes. But let's go ahead, let's explore more around here, because this does look a, look like a big reach by him. Hold on, let me summon my boy here. Any enemies? I heard something. I heard something splashing around. Oh, look who it is. Uh, it's just a slime. So yeah, look at this. These biomes can get pretty expansive. They got some good, good size to them. And I don't know if this one keeps on going. No, this one doesn't really keep going down. Maybe I should turn up. Oh no, here's a guy right here reach guard so there's multiple uh, reach enemies in here and so far we've seen just a reach guard where are we getting, where are we getting all these potions from i'm just like noticing i really like the generation on this one though. this is dope <laughs> whether it's messed up or not the, well it is messed up because it's kind of like a tree missing here it's still really cool it's really really pretty mess up how about that? Let's, let's go with that. It's a really nice mess up. This bitch, you can wake up and you can leave. Get out of my sight. Alright, let's turn up the spawn rates. Because we're just going to show off like the weapons. Uh, you know, what they do and obviously the enemies too. But from what I know, I think everything from the Reacher's move, including weapons. So, is it just certainly yeah, isn't a regular Reach Guard? Okay. That's a that's a blue jay. So another one down here. A whole lot of splishy splash. Another reach guard. Come on, give me some. Give me some other size in these guys. I know there's more. I know there's more. There's another guard. Oh fuck! There's a whole lot of guards down here. Hey man, everybody just chill out. I just want to see the non guards, please. We'll do one more look through, and then we'll uh, artificially spawn in. Will artificially spawn in artificial intelligence. Ho! Oh! You ever hear that before? Reach guard, reach guard. Alright, just a whole lot of reach guards. So let's do it this way. We'll start by typing reach. I know they're all in that name reach. Reach observer. So it's like a, like a little floating eye. Okay, interesting. What's going on down there? Loud all of a sudden. Um, Maybe we should just go to the spear mod. Probably, nope. Spirit mod. It'll probably be easier finding it that way. Other than me just like trying to guess what the name is. Because a lot of mods name, you know, they name the, uh, the NPCs like names that are, that just work for them. Like say you got a snow golem and the name of it is like Mega Snowman. Shit, I, I just named that bitch Snow Golem. Alright, I don't know, that's a bad example, I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I give that example. Grassvine, here's one of them. Look at this guy. 
It's like a little plant. I always like, I always like having. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop! They shoot through walls. Uh, <laughs> always like having, you know, living plant monsters. Those are always cool looking. It's always cool things to see. Can I pick those back up? Oh, they're like my. Oh no, they vanish. What am I talking about? All right, and then let's see the other one, which is the Grove Caster. And then, stop doing that. Stop. All right. Which? Oh, he teleported as soon as I try to get on him. Try me, asshole. Like, like teleport. Like, oh, there you go. Oh, so he kind of he teleports as you hit him. Okay, okay. Interesting. He doesn't exactly hit hard. You know, one damage isn't exactly something to be afraid of. All right, I don't like that his AI kind of teleports him like wherever the hell he wants. Because that makes it kind of hard to fight him. Oh, here we go. Oh, destroyed him. All right, so let's go over some of the weapons now. Uh, Get away from me. Let's go over some of the weapons. I'm pretty sure that's all the enemies. So what the hell were they called? Oh, fuck, hold up. No, no, no. Let's uh, let's actually get the bark and put it in the recipe browser because I don't even remember what the items are called. Hustalk. Hust. It was hust. Husk. Not hust. Husk stalk. Interesting name. Husk stalk bow. Why am I saying it like super slow? All right. Staff hustalk bow. Bat staff spe spear. Sure. I keep. See, I put the button to open up the boss checklist right next to the one to open up Chi Chi. And I keep I keep just like hitting it by accident. Alright, let's see the bow. Bow in action. Does it shoot like a specific arrow? Arrow shot inflicts a withering leaf. Which I don't I'm guessing that's like a dot. That's what most I mean it's pretty fast too, which is good. That's what most things are just like dot effects. Alright, let's try the staff. Ooh, I like the staff. I like staffs that do that, a little like multi-hit. Cause it does a good bit of damage. One one cast. One cast for like a barrage. A lot of I don't know about a lot of spears, but I know another spear that does do that. Right here. Something's in a bunch of them. Maybe not like do do do. You know, like like that something's in like one one one. This one something's in like three at a, in like a chunk. I don't know why I said do 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 to explain it, but whatever. Spear. Obviously, spears are spears. People should know how I feel about them. They can be cool, and other times they can just be like straight up just a spear. Nothing special. Flicks with a relief. Oh, that's the bow. And of course, the sword. It's just the sword. Skycaster? No, it's just guard. Oh my god, there's a whole lot of guards. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you with your own weapon. Yeah, I don't exactly know what Withering Leaf does. Possibly. Makes it so their armor is weaker. Imagine it's like a penetration effect. Did it say there was a blood moon? It did not say there was a blood moon. Why is the blood moon the blood moon music playing? Hey, look, this guy spawned naturally. Hey, look, a lot of enemies spawn naturally. Maybe they spawn more at night, like all the other enemies spawn at night. What was that? I saw some. Oh, it was just this guy. Yeah, seems like maybe at night these guys spawn in more often. That would, that would make sense for like the. The uh, creepier looking dudes to spawn in. And maybe that explains the blood moon, blood moon music. Because we are in a biome. The reach biome. So if we leave here. I'm guessing the music. Okay, yeah. Okay, that, that, that makes sense. So. We're going to go return to our world. And we're going to get some shit done. And just like that, we've gotten things done. Wow. This is a nice, beautiful world, isn't it? It is. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Did I hit quick sack or deposit? Whatever. Um, do I, does this not have a place to quick sack to? Cobweb? What is this? this is what I usually do. I forgot what, what the thing is used for. If it's used for potions, like potions that I need all the time, then I put it in potion materials. But it's not, so we'll just throw it in misc. So check this out. That's how I have everything organized. Spirit, this will be where a bunch of miscellaneous spirit stuff will go. Ingots and ores, of course, you know, all the usual stuff. And then spirit weapons and spirit armor. Since like 90% of armors can't be hanged up. Uh, hung up. 
that's where I'll be putting most of them. I mean, I can test them and see what ones can be hung, hang, you know. And if if it works, then it works. So, I fought a goblin invasion recently. Couldn't tell by all the stuff I have from it. Uh, and there's new stuff you can actually craft with tech drives. And I know they added in a pre-hard mode armor set. That you can use for post swallow flesh. I think he spawns after Skeletron though. Which hopefully next episode will be fine Skeletron. Because actually maybe not next episode. The episode after that. We're going to be finishing up some business. So check this out. Coil blaster. Coil pistol. Two, two range weapons. Okay. Uh, coil mine staff. That's actually really cool. Coiled blade. Coil knife, coil spear. I'm gonna make the mine staff. Oh, it's annoying. Come on, why are you always giving me annoying shit? And then I'm gonna get the the blaster too. Those those sound cool. Oof. I like it. I think maybe I can finally get rid of this. Because I've been using this for so damn long. So we can get rid of that. And this. I wanna see this. Okay. So there's like, you probably can do a little strategizing with that. Oh yeah, I've also uh, kind of worked on building houses, finally. Look at this guy, the bug catcher from g Realm. Tracks butterflies during the day. Everyone knows how much I love fishing in this game. A uh, deadly coil. Is this cursed? Ooh, it's not. Oh no, it is cursed, shit. I was about to say, like, damn. That shit was good. Yeah, I'll take that. That's that's fine. What? Oh, some either something stepped on the mine or the mine just kind of just went off. So we're we're gonna do some weapon swapping here, okay? We're gonna put this here. Maybe maybe do that, and then we'll put the tel teleningus. Hold on, I gotta. Oh my god, fifty eight percent damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of things being cursed in my inventory. Is it cursed? Oh my god. Just don't get don't give me curse. Alright, so there you go, there's that. Uh we have a good decent amount of weapon weaponry. I even have a yo-yo string just so I can get some use out of this. Everything has warding, like everything should be good to go. And uh, I'm working this is my boss arena. I wanted to make my boss arena included into my, you know, crafting area. Stop saying that. I keep on saying, you know. You guys don't know. That's what I'm telling you. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure... I was talking to uh, some people on the Discord. I'm pretty sure that the perforator... I burped. The perforator and uh, his cousin... What the hell is the name of the... Hive mine. Uh, that's probably not his cousin, honestly. But... I'm pretty sure they're post Skeletron, if I'm remembering correctly. But that ain't stopping me from fighting him again. It. We're gonna go with it. That ain't stopping me from fighting it again. So it is very much recommended to fight the uh, perforator down here because of the flying projectiles of doom he shoots out. And like I said, I talked to the talked to the creators on Discord or the developers, and that was what they recommended was find them down here. So, what are we gonna do? You ask. Kill these guys. Get out of here. I'm gonna turn down the spawn rates. I don't like being bothered by other enemies. All right, get out of here, dude. I'm trying to fight this guy. This cyst has a whole lot of health. Jesus. Can you just like? Like die slower. Wow, this is taking <laughs> this is taking a little bit. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try our best here to actually get a W. And then we'll just oh fuck, you already spawned. What was that? I don't even mean to use this. I meant to use this. Okay. So. The projectile shouldn't be too much of a problem when being underground. Because, you know, they'll hit stuff. And fighting it above ground, we got our ass beat in like mere second. Fighting it underground, 
We actually stood a chance. It's weird. Honestly, it's weird how it worked. Not really, because it was pretty obvious. The reason was there. Look, he's trying to shoot that shit at me. Boy, you shoot that shit, that goes right into the ceiling. Hit him with these knives, which I still don't understand. If you throw them at a certain angle, they, they throw weird. Hold up. I'm trying to... Trying to get the stuff that will probably help. I don't know. That's not exactly hitting the way I want it to. Alright, fine. We'll, uh... We'll, ooh. I kind of like that. Alright, hold up. Right here. Hey! See, we got some nice piercing items now. Which is always good to have. Come right here, dude. Come right here. Oh, he died. Alright, the healing's over there. We know that. We know where the healing is. What does this do? I can't even see that. I could have Alright. I was going to say I can barely see that. But obviously, the English language kind of escaped my mind for a second there. Alright, we're out of ammo. So we're going to switch to this. Next one. Part two. Let's go. Oh, I actually got hit. That's scary when you actually get hit. Because like a chunk of your health just goes missing. It's like, what? What just happened? Alright. Uh, we still got more potions to buckle with. I think... Well, I don't know if we'll finish the boss in three minutes. But I think it definitely won't take that long to finish the boss. We just got to worry about, you know, the forms. The next set of forms. Ooh. Right here. Right here. I like that you can place the mines on platforms. There's a lot of mods where... Uh, Platforms are just like not even thought about. <laughs> the things just fly through platforms. Aka that full of vine uh, summon. That thing literally goes through platforms. Alright. It's all good. Jerome is still a good mod. Don't know if I'll keep it in here though for next season. Possibly not. Because I'm next season. Ooh, next season I'm trying to minimize the size of the mod pack. And I actually have an interesting idea of what I might do for the mod pack. Um, and that idea being each character will kind of like add in a mod. So like one season we focus on this mod more than the others. The next season we add in a big content mod. And we'll be focusing on that mod. And it keeps on building up. Especially with all the big content mods that come out. Or came or out now. Oh my god. Destroy this man. Destroy this man. God. Oh my! Did he really die that quickly? This was this is a good weapon right here. <laughs> this is a good weapon, man. All right, there you go. We beat him. Pre Skeletron, or is it? Might have been Queen B, honestly. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> we didn't have to use a single potion. I think. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention, honestly. Nice, good job. All right, man. I'm just gonna magnetize everything. I don't have to go scramble. Oh, I didn't even have my summon out. All right, let's head. Well, let's not head back yet. So we get the vein burster, bloodbath, which is what he killed us with majority of time. Majority of the time, is that coming from the sky? That feather. I saw a feather come from the sky. Uh, obviously the armored bloody worm tooth. Great to combine with the scarf. So I gotta remember to make a corruption area soon. I gotta burp. Oh. Very sorry for that. Alright, um. Can I craft anything while I'm down here? Hopefully. Is there any, like, demon altars nearby? Oh, fast one. I really like this. This, uh, crimson. It looks really cool. I don't know if any mods affected its generation. But it looks really cool. Oh, no, I can't make stuff. Sweet. I only need vertebrae. Let's get that. The treasure bag kind of drops everything you need. That or. I've low-key been farming that stuff and I haven't even been paying attention to it. So is there anything we really want? Probably not. Sausage maker. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't really need any of that. It's the spirit mod playthrough, alright? So this is gonna be a good focus on the spirit mod. So we're gonna end off this episode here. I showed off the reach. I think off camera I'm trying to get more uh, tech drives. But other than that, I will see you guys next time in the Spirit Mod!